Hello guys and welcome to C Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Program is nothing but set of instructions and we will write the program to perform some particular task. Sometimes while writing the program we need to take some data from the user, the one who is using or executing the program. This process of taking the data from the user is called as taking input from the user. So this data is nothing but input and we'll execute our program and we'll get final result. So this result is called as output. So we will write a program to perform some particular task. While writing the program, sometimes we need to take some data or input from the user and we'll execute our program and we'll get the output. In C programming language, to take input from the user and to print the output of the program, we need input and output functions. Okay, here we know what is input means, what is output means, right? But we don't know what is function mean. In the future, we will discuss about the function in detail. But for now, just remember that function is nothing but block of statement that perform a specific task. So here function is nothing but some group of instructions. For example, if I want to add two numbers, I can write the whatever instruction needed to add two numbers here and I can give a name to this function. We can give name to functions. Okay, so this is function body. Function is nothing but block of statement that performs a special task and function contains function name and function body. We will use function to avoid writing block of statements again and again. If you don't understand this now, don't worry. Just remember that function is nothing but group of statements which perform a specific task. And in C programming language, to take the input from the user, we can use scanf function. Okay, so this is the function name. And to print the output, we can use printf function. This is also function name. So while writing the function name, we need to write the set of parentheses, okay, like this. And this scanf and printf functions are predefined functions. As I said, function contains function name and function body, right? So here we can see the function name. Where is the body of these two function? Body of these two functions are already defined in a file called as stdio.h standard input output header file. So whenever you want to use these two function, you just need to use the function name. Its body is already defined in this file. So in C language, any program which contains input and output operation must contain the statement. We need to include this statement in every program because this file contains the function body of scanf and printf. If you want to use these two function in your program, then you need to include this statement. That's why we'll write this statement at the beginning of our program. Okay, so this is about input output functions of C programming language. Now we need to learn more about this printf and scanf function. So that's why we'll discuss about that now. Today in this tutorial, we'll talk about printf function. And in the next tutorial, we'll talk about scanf function. Printf function in C programming language is used for output formatting. Actually, printf stands for print formatted. This function is used to display information required by the user. Also, it prints the value of a variable. So using printf function, we can print a message or the information which is required as well as we can print values and uh, values of variable. This printf function formats the output like the width of the output, sign of the output, etc. So we can format the output using this function. Next, how to use this printf function in C programming language? We can use this in two ways. The first one is to print a message. We need to write like this printf and here in the double quotes, you need to write the message which you want to print or the information required and double quotes and close the parenthesis. So this is the one way to use the printf function. Printf and a message. Okay, so I'll show you the example for this. 
Here we can see this is simple program hello world program here we can see in the first line we are including stdio.h header file because in this program I am using printf function so here we can see printf and here in the double quotes I wrote a message called hello world so now if I execute this program so here this program will print the hello world message it will print that message as it is here we can see hello world if I want I can change the message here I can write write and save and execute it will print Amul's Academy so using printf function you can print any message okay so this is the one way to use the printf function in C language and another way is we can print the values or the values present in the variable that is we need to mention printf and here we need to take format specifiers comma next here you can mention value you can mention any number of value okay or you can mention the variable name here variable 1 variable 2 like that so this is the another way to use the printf function to print the value or the value present in the variable first we need to mention the format specifier within the double quotes comma next we need to write the value or the variable here we can write multiple value or multiple variables but we need to separate them using a comma so here we know what is value or variable means but we don't know about the format specifiers so first we'll discuss about that later we'll see the example for this syntax while printing the value of a variable we need to mention format specifiers and these format specifiers are used during input and output it is a way to tell compiler what type of data is in a variable while taking the input using scanf or printing using printf in the case of printf function it will tell the compiler what type of data we are printing so this format specifier contains the percentage symbol followed by the conversion character different conversion characters are used for different data type for example if i want to print an integer value then i need to use percentage and d as the format specifier d is the conversion character for the integer value or percentage c for the character so if i want to print a character then i need to use percentage c as the format specifier so now at least we need to know few conversion character for the different data types so i'll show you a table it contains different format specifiers so here we can see format specifier type of value and variable type so percentage c is used for character char data type percentage d or percentage i is for signed integer for int so percentage d percentage i behaves same in the printf function but it behaves differently in scanf function that i will explain you while explaining about the scanf function percentage u for unsigned decimal integer int percentage o for unsigned integer in octal form int percentage x or percentage capital x unsigned integer for hex form hexadecimal form int percentage f for floating value float percentage s for string so we didn't discuss about the string till now so for now don't worry about this these are the few format specifiers in C now let's see the example so we need to mention the format specifier and values if it contains two value then here we need to have two format specifier so here I will take a variable I will take the data type of that variable as int and I will take variable name as n1 I'll assign an integer value next I want to print this value right so I'll use printf function for that and here I need to mention the format specifier because I'm printing the integer value I need to use the format specifier as percentage D or percentage I so here I'll use percentage D comma next I need to mention the value or variable name so here variable name is n1 so I'll mention that semicolon all right so we can save this and we can run this program now and it will print the value as 10 here we are printing the value present in the variable 
if you want we can print the value directly for example i'll write value here okay and if i save this and run this 10 and 19 is printed together because we didn't use any separator here so if i mention slash n here and if i save this now if i run this it will print 10 and 19 okay slash n for the new line next if you want we can print a message also with the value that is like this so i'll take value is simple message here you need to use semicolon save this and run this so it will print value is 10 so this printf function contains the first syntax and this contains the second syntax right here instead of using two printf function i can do this using single printf function also that is nothing but we can combine the first syntax and second syntax that we can do like this i'll copy this the message right and here i'll paste this control v so i'll write this here and i'll remove this okay printf value is so it will print this message as it is and for percentage d it will write the value of n1 so now if i save this and run this it will print value is 10 so we can use printf function like this also next we'll take another example here i took few variable and here we can see the variable declaration and initialization i took character value integer unsigned int int and float value next if you want to print this value then we need to use printf function here n1 i need to print variable name that's why i'll take n1 in the double quotes next i'll take colon i want to print colon also next i want to print the integer value n1 is an integer value so i need to use percentage d so next i'll use slash n it is for the new line so we are done with the format specifier and message next here we need to print the variable name so variable name is here n1 so i need to write n1 next print f i want to print the character so ch variable name colon i need to use percentage c to print the value in the character i need to use percentage c and here ch that is the variable name so print f i need to print n2 n2 is the unsigned integer so i need to use percentage u slash n so here n2 next i want to print n3 i'll print the octal value of integer value 100 okay so for the octal value i need to use percentage o slash n and here n3 next i'll print the hexadecimal value of n3 so n3 percentage x slash n n3 so next i'll print n4 n4 is the float value n4 so here i want to print the value present in that so percentage f slash n and n4 so we are done okay so now i'll save this and run this so here first it will print n1 minus 20 so here we can see it will print n1 and colon as it is because that is the message okay so it will print minus 20 that is the value so here instead of percentage d it will print the value of that that is nothing but minus 20 next ch equal to z n2 equal to 100 n3 equal to 144 that is the that is the octal value for 100 so i got 144 and here we got 64 for n3 that is the hexadecimal value next n4 as 10.2000 this is the floating value so here it will print n1 colon as it is instead of percentage d percentage c percentage u percentage o percentage x percentage f it will print the value of that variable so this is the format specifier and this is the variable name and here i used slash n that is this 
that is for the new line here in the output here we can see each output is in the new line that's because of this slash n we can print multiple value in the single printf function that is here this is for uh, n1 and this is for ch here percentage c and here we need to separate n1 and ch using comma here no need to use any comma and if we save this and execute this here we can see 20 and ch z here we are getting space because of this space if you want you can remove that or you can remove slash n if i remove slash n it will print the values in the same line here we can see n120 next here this space next ch z so this is about the printf function next if you use wrong type of format specifier with the wrong type of variable we'll get some strange behavior so for example here if i want to print n1 okay so for n1 n1 contains integer value if i use format specifier as percentage f and if i execute like this i'll save this and i'll run this here we can see we'll get strange behavior so n1 is an integer value if i if i use percentage f we'll get strange behavior next we can use modifier with the printf function that is we can change the width of the output as well as sign of the value so we'll discuss about that in the next tutorial i have an activity for you here we didn't discuss about all the format specifier we missed few if you know any format specifier then you need to comment below with the example okay so this is the activity for you so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care